Right, today I'm reviewing a program which features the line, look at it this way, things can't get any worse, and then they do. It's RB Grange doing the iPlayer Watch here on YouTube, watch it now, just please. Hi there everyone, it's RB Grange from the RB Grange iPlayer. Seemingly the, the most results, sorry, the most views I've had on the, my iPlayer things have uh, been because of tags such as the word vagina. Anyway, so... Um, but never mind, you know, the 30 odd people who've watched the other ones, good on you, whatever. Today, I'm reviewing a, a program called um, How Not To Live Your Life. It's a comedy program, what I watched on the iPlayer just now. I think it, there's been two or three episodes. I saw the first one, and I was not impressed. Episode one of How Not To Live Your Life. Um, it took a lot of jokes from... Um, spaced a lot of actions and the way people acted was very much spaced although it was some uh, crude um humor that you wouldn't get in space it was sex and things like that very i mean poor taste i think and also uh there was uh yeah also um one of the conceits of peep show that you can hear what uh, one of the characters or the character is thinking which is the best bit about peep show that you hear what people say and what they think but it was it was like, oh, what will the night do next? You finish the story type thing. It was no, it wasn't good. But I did a little bit of research into this Dan Clark person who uh, I think um, directed it as well as uh, wrote it and started. He didn't direct it. And uh, he was in the episode Heroes and Villains of Only Fools and Horses, the very famous episode where um, they dress up as Batman and Robin. There's that episode, isn't there, of Only Fools and Horses, and the Chandelier episode, and the episode where they get rich. Guy, it's such a good program, isn't it, Only Fools and Horses? No, it's not. Anyway, so, um, so yeah, watching How Not to Live Your Life. Um, the jokes are a bit turgid, uh, not engaging at all. There's a, a girl with a northern accent who can't act. There's the guy from the Sainsbury's advert. Do you remember the first Sainsbury's advert with... Um, uh, Jamie Oliver in, where um, his, his mate's just around his flat and it's, uh, Jamie, Jamie Oliver says, Just get out of the side with you or anything. And uh, his mate says, Oh, pass the salad or something. And, uh, and he, he goes down and, and, and his little scooter thing, and it with the helmet. And, uh, and <laughs> Jamie Oliver says, Oh, try before you buy, what's it? And he's like, Oh, try before you buy. And he, so he has some little bits and puts together a salad for his friend. But when he gets back to the house, he's like, He's just been out to get this salad. Nothing else, but waste of energy. When he gets back, uh, his friend says, "Do you want me?" And uh, and and uh, and Jamie Oliver says, "No, no, 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 no stuff me. I will fool it." So you know he'd eaten enough from the try before you buy section to not have to buy anything. It's good, isn't it? So, but this Dan Clark, as I say, who I think uh, well, he stars in it anyway. He's an up and coming talent, supposedly. Um, I thought it was Roy Clark. The, the the guy who who um who produces um well I think writes and produces uh what's it called Last of the Summer Wine but it's not it's Dan Clark don't get him mixed up so yeah not impressed wasn't funny at all that's my review of it I'm done whatever I tried doing a review of Maestro just too much to put in there Sue Perkins Alex James they're brilliant yeah I the, yeah.